The Chargers just drafted Junior Colson. We finally got our first Michigan player, and I'm glad that it was Junior Colson in the third round over like Blake Corum because I was a little bit worried that they would take Blake Corum. I'm glad that didn't happen, but Junior Colson, man, I love this pick and i could even be convinced to take junior colson in the second round that's how good of a player and how good of a fit in this defense he is i made a tweet before junior colson was taken i just wanted to see how the Chargers fans felt hey how would you feel if we took junior colson blake Corum is still an option but everyone seemed on board with it and now we got our linebacker this guy is fluid in movement he can play in zone coverage really well he's really fast and athletic twitchy linebacker he uses his hands pretty well to stack up defenders and then shed blocks but sometimes he does that inconsistently that's one of the negatives of his game as well uh he also plays the run game pretty well that's another part of his game that's also inconsistent because he shoots gap uh gaps really quickly really instinctively but sometimes he shoots the wrong gaps that can get him into trouble sometimes but he is an absolute hammer think of like just running down the field with an instinctual just urge to hit somebody. And this is what Jim Harbaugh wants in a linebacker. A physical guy plays like with his hair on fire and also in zone coverage. He can go back. He's got lateral agility. The athleticism is there. He graded as a very good athlete. Junior Colson is everything that you want in a linebacker. He was a lot of people's linebacker one. For me, I would actually have Edger and Cooper as linebacker one, but he went earlier to the Packers. So linebacker one on the board, it was Junior Colson, and the fit was obvious here with Jim Harbaugh, but specifically Jesse Minter. If anybody can utilize a linebacker like this with the physicality, the urge to just go down and hit somebody and this smart football IQ. It is a guy like Jesse Minter. He uses linebackers in zone coverage a lot. He can play zone. He uses linebackers with blitzes up the A gap. He can blitz. He comes downfield very fast and very heavy handed. He moves offensive linemen. When Junior Colson was blitzing and like specifically when he was blitzing uh, an A gap on the inside, he would sometimes be in like a stunt move and then he would just knock the guard or the center off balance. He was so good at just popping up their pads. He plays with really good leverage. And this is a guy, like I said earlier, very fluid movement. This isn't somebody that's too physical and is not going to have some nuance to his game. And also, I mentioned that I thought he had a fo high football IQ. I was talking to Garrett of the Lightning Round podcast. He actually didn't really see it that same way. So there is, you know, we're watching the same tape here. We're just coming away with different opinions. I'm probably higher on Junior Colson than some other Chargers fans are, but I think this is a great fit for Jesse Minter. And this draft right now, it's coming together really, really nicely. And I don't want you guys to think that just because Junior Colson went to Michigan and he's a Jim Harbaugh guy and Jesse Minter guy that the Chargers drafted him only because of that. Navarro Bowman, who has no connection to Michigan at all, he's the linebackers coach. He said, I stood on the table from day one for you. But obviously, the Michigan ties with Jim Harbaugh had a lot to do with it. He recruited uh, Junior Colson. He actually, it's a, it's a great story. He's from Heidi. He was a soccer player. He only played football for a couple years in high school before being recruited to Michigan. And then Jim Harbaugh put him on the field his very first year. He was a three-year starter, played every single game for Michigan. This is a guy, I mean, he has not played football for so long, and he's so instinctual, has such a great feel for zone coverage and blitzing, and with gaps most of the time, because like I said, sometimes he's inconsistent with diagnosing gaps in the run game. But to, ha to have a high football IQ like that, when you've only been playing football for just a few short years, and also... You are a three-year starter, and you start as soon as you enter Michigan at 18 years old in the Big Ten. That's a big conference. He's playing against some grown freaking men as a teenager after only playing the position for like three years. He has a lot of good tape. I love the athletic tools, and I think this is a, a very high ceiling player. And we have our offensive tackle now. We have our linebacker and we took our wide receiver, Lad McConkey. We have great 
value here. And I love this tweet from Warren Sharp. These are two tough physical tone setters on both sides of the ball, talking about Joe Alt and Junior Colson. We're not gonna be playing with nuance anymore and having our DBs like 10 yards off like Brandon Staley would and having Kenneth Murray go back and play in coverage 10 yards off the ball and not go and diagnose that there is a running back in the flat. Go please pick up the running back in the flat before he goes and gets the first down on third and five. Junior Colson is going to diagnose that quickly and he is going to go and close the gap and hopefully make the tackle because he is also an elite tackling linebacker 90.2 grade by pff that is elite anything above 90 by pff is elite and also his zone coverage let me just pull up his zone coverage grade right here 83.4 and his run defense 80 81.7 overall grade he was really good in 2022 when it mattered the most when they were going down that playoff stretch and then just this past year he played really well against iowa and he did struggle a little bit against washington that was actually one of his worst games uh, of his career but this is a big physical linebacker has a high football iq he can also play zone coverage he fits perfectly with Jesse Minter and what they want to do. We already know what we're getting with Junior Colson because all of these coaches on our defense and including Navarro Bowman now who stood on the table for him, they all know him. They have worked with him for three years. He's been that starter for three years. Like I said, he was an All-American as a freshman, I'm pretty sure. And now we're going to be able to stop the run, but we're also, and I think this is more important here, we're going to be able to stop the passes over the middle because how many times did we just get beat by some short, quick routes last season over the middle? And then also because the running backs were out in the out from the backfield in the flats, in the short areas and just getting so much yak. This is an elite tackler. This is a guy that can diagnose at a high level and he has the athleticism to close the gap and understand what he sees and then execute what he sees. I'm loving these picks so far on day two. Lad McConkey in the second round was awesome value. Adonai Mitchell falling that far was crazy to see, but I'm really glad we got Lad McConkey. He's a great route runner. Now we have Junior Colson, who's a tough linebacker. We're just getting better and better. We need to address cornerback, okay? Yes, I understand. We still need a cornerback, but we are focusing on stopping the run on defense, obviously, here with Junior Colson, and also on establishing the run, obviously, on offense because of the pick of Joe Alt. And then Lad McConkey is a short area, really good route runner in the short, quick passing game. So when you do establish the run, you can do a play action, quick pass, easy first down. That's the vision. I cannot wait for day three. I can't wait to see the other prospects that we take tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully try and make a video for every single one of them as it's happening today. The only reason why this one is late is because that Bleach Report live stream I was doing. But yeah, man, Lam McConkey, Junior Colson, Joe Alt. It's hey, it started off a little bad, but you know how to reel me right back in, Joe Hortiz and Jim Harbaugh. I'm gonna end this off with Jim Harbaugh. He literally broke into a musical number after drafting Junior Colson. Listen to this. Hail to the victor, Hail to the cocky heroes. Hail, hail to Michigan, the leaders in bass. Hail to the victor, Hail to the cocky heroes. Hail. Ha! To Michigan, the champions of the West. Go Blue! <laughs>